Hey guys, this is Ivan with Overlook DNT, and in today's video, we're working on the semi auto minecart ejection system. Bam. All right, so I don't know if you guys remember, a couple of weeks back, I had the Lazy Man's uh, kind of minecart station where it automatically popped out a cart for you after you arrived at your destination, but it also sucked up the cart that you came in. Um, again, uh, as I mentioned in that video, which is this one here, and I'll link it on the description, basically you were just in a cart and your minecart, you left to your destination, you came back, it uh, took you out of your cart and automatically popped one out. Now this is cool again in single player, uh, but if you have other people in the world, they don't know that you're uh, at that station over there, and uh, whatever, it, it kind of messed this up because it automatically pops out a cart. So then there was uh, the original uh, by Souls2023. Or basically, you just press the button and you call the cart. Uh, you can uh, use a button or just kind of push forward. Uh, so the cool part about this one is that it sucked up the cart as usual, put in the dispenser, except uh, it was on command. So let's say you had several people in the world. Uh, of course, as soon as you arrive at your destination, it's going to put in the dispenser, so there will always be a cart there. And, you know, whatever. Take off. Alright, so that's what we're working on today. Uh, here's Mr. Soul's kind of wiring. I've simplified it a bit. It really is just a button going into the block housing the dispenser. Excuse me. I've kind of uh, put this just as a straight line. Um, the uh, the hoppers, you know, are transparent blocks, so they don't cut the redstone signal. So if you put this button even farther back, kind of how Souls had it, as long as you run it into the block holding the dispenser, you're basically good to go. Uh, it's not directional, I mean that one's north-south, this one's, uh, what is it, uh, east-west. I built it the other way on a failed tutorial video that I did earlier, so it, it works, it works. Alright, uh, so then let's build it. Uh, what do we have on us? Okay, we're going to start right here, for example, like that. Dispenser facing up, thankfully 4J fixed that. Also, somebody had mentioned um, what I mean when I say right-click. Uh, it's shift-click, guys. Like uh, the equivalent of like PC shift clicking, you see the animation on the left. So it's crouch, okay? Crouch. If you hear me say that, it's basically crouch. That lets you click on things that normally have an interface, like a dispenser. Uh, all right. So dispenser facing up. You have your hopper. Crouch click into that. Crouch click into that. You know you've done it right. Whenever these things are um, going into each other and then into the dispenser. Kind of gets nice, neat blocks here the redstone all right so um basically uh, to know where you're gonna put your cactus super important it's what breaks the car apart wait uh, let's get you some sand place it down like that and then your cactus right there all right so from here on you can go ahead and kind of cover this up as a matter of fact let's just leave it open let's just put the redstone 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 the buttons gonna be right here and we'll place but, uh, the button. You know it's working when you hear the click. Okay. So, of course, you can place it farther down or if you just kind of wire your rats known as long as it's hitting the block directly uh, holding the dispenser, then you're basically good to go. From here on, you can do anything to kind of cover up the back. Just don't put anything directly next to the cactus, but you do need something above it. That way, the cactus isn't just free growing and, and so on. So, okay, now we know where the redstone is. Let's just cover this up. So, uh, cover this up. Uh, we can't put anything directly on it. So, if you want to cover it up, kind of cover it this way. So, it looks kind of just white. All right. Um, we'll uh, use the powered rail. We'll use one here and one here. Uh, now, we need normal rails. I need a Y shape. Basically, what can I get rid of? Oh, I needed that. All right, uh, so right here it's gonna go like this, like this, and then like this, and like this, and like this. So if this happens, and you're like, uh, then just do that. If it doesn't connect for some reason, uh, you know, if you're building it the other way in its direction, just get rid of this one, and then just connect them like that, and then place down your power drill. Then we'll put our end destination, we'll go here, we'll use a powered rail, a button there to shoot us back. At this point, you are basically done. Um, Let's get uh, carpet, if you do want to use carpet to cover that up. Let's get some carpet. Mm -hmm, like that. Again, we're crouch clicking on here so we don't access the hopper. Okay, if you're going to want to push off, uh, let's get a minecart out. 
So again, uh, if you get on the card here, now you're able to push forward and then just kind of give yourself your own momentum, okay? If uh, you want to use a button to go a bit faster, don't place the button here or here, which I can't because the button's there. It'll activate the dispenser, okay? So don't do that. Put it here. That's why you have this extra, uh, extra power drill. That way it'll boost you. But you need to have um, a block here. That's how the whole minecart boosting system works. You have to have a, a, a block to push off of. All right, so you're able to fill this one up. Let's fill it up, actually. We have all this stuff broken. Uh, let's just not completely fill it up. Let's just put a couple more. You know, let's just fill it up. All right, good enough. Okay, so again, the cool part about this, uh, this you know, specific design here is that, uh, you know, you're able to call a card, and you know that once you come back, that your card went in. So it's, it's almost like there's always a card there. If you need to use this train station, there's always a card. So if you want to have that be the, the case, because it always breaks it and puts it in a dispenser that is not easily accessible until you actually hit a button, you know, just go ahead and mirror this design on the end point of the station and um, you will always have a card. So then that way you hit your button, card comes out, you hit your button and you're off to your destination. You're done mining or doing whatever it is that you do and it breaks it apart and stores it back in there. All right, fantastic. Well, again, big thanks to Souls 2023. Awesome concept. As always, hope you guys liked the video. Subscribe up top and peace out.